before starting this session one of the participants by names rain has sent me a posted a question in the whatsapp and i want to discuss not in the private forum but in the open forum because it will be of useful to you also and uh, take on the question he collected the question from the state board the plus 2 students that is 12th standard board and asked me how to work out that problem now <clears throat> i am going to discuss in the open forum and take down this and it will be of much useful to you i think it is uh, such a question is not asked in the csa or what it may be asked we will uh, i will uh, slightly modify this question i am going to give is uh, partly from that straight board book and uh, partly from i am suitably modified as to applicable to the says i are examination effect on the question the electrochemical cell reaction of the daniel cell of the daniel cell is zinc solid plus copper 2 plus aqueous giving zinc 2 plus aqueous and the copper solid the emf of the cell b e then the concentration of the anode compartment and the concentration of the anode compartment is changed by a factor changed by a factor k the cell emf is found to be e prime the difference the difference in between e and e prime that is e minus e prime is option a point not 3 volt b point not 592 volt c minus point not 590 volt d minus point not 3 volt i have altered it so to be covered says i have and here the concentration is not at all that change therefore the emf they have quoted is not a standard one it is just a non standard condition e before changing the concentration in the emf is e after changing the anode concentration by 10 times the voltage is e prime they ask you to calculate e minus e prime what is the value and since it is a non standard condition you should make use of the nernst equation e is equal to e not minus point not 6 our correct answer is point not 592 by n n is the number of electrons involved in the process in the cell reaction how many electrons are involved you will simply see the zinc to zinc 2 plus two electrons are released and r a there the copper 2 plus to copper that two electrons consume therefore number of electrons involved in the process is 2 into log of the concentration in the product side here the species present concentration is zinc 2 plus and solid copper its activity is taken to be 1 therefore concentration is also 1 divided by the concentration of the reactant side the reactant side the ion present is copper 2 plus ion and the zinc in the solid state that for the activity is one we want to take it into consideration this is the reaction portion q okay 
and under this condition e is equal to this one then they call what is the e prime for the same electrode zinc and copper therefore e naught is the same minus 0.06 the number of electrons involved in the process is also same into log of where they have changed the anode anode compartment means which concentration is to be changed anybody anode compartment means which concentration is changed anybody zinc 2 plus ah zinc 2 plus it is the anode because if you write down the cell zinc bar zinc 2 plus and copper 2 plus for copper this is the electrodes this is the anode and this is the electrode in anode compartment they have changed the concentration of the zinc 2 plus therefore in the place of zinc 2 plus how much concentration is in it by by a factor of 10 therefore i write it as 10 is at 10 2 plus 10 into concentration of is at 10 2 plus by the copper 2 plus okay and I'm going to rearrange these log functions. E naught is equal to 0 0.06 by 2 into log of Z10 2 plus concentration by copper 2 plus concentration plus log 10. Am I correct? This is log of A into B. I keep this quotient as a B and a 10 as a A, then it is equal to log A plus log B. In under this condition, I have changed it. And now uh, expand this, you will get E naught minus naught 6 by 2 into log of Z10 plus by copper 2 plus. minus 0 0.06 by 2 into log k okay and this is nothing but this is nothing but this value well, look, look at this first equation and compare this this is nothing but e therefore e prime is equal to e now here you have to put the value 0.03 into log 10, log 10 is 1 and 0.03. What is asked? E minus E prime is asked. Therefore, you have to rearrange this E minus E prime is equal to E and rearrange this equal to 0.03 volt. 0.03 volt. Therefore, which is the correct answer? The first answer is the correct one. Here you have, you have been given only the concentration of zinc alone, the anode compartment is changed. It is increased. And the further uh, type of developing further questions, the anode compartment is increased in two times and cathode compartment is decreased by two times. Or anode concentration is decreased by three times and cathode by four times. What would be the answer? The methodology is the same. And we will work out one problem. Both the concentration, the anode compartment concentration and cathode compartment concentrations are differing. What would be this? The same problem can be the same problem. Now the problem can be the option can be also changed like this. Take down the option. Now I am going to give for the same problem. The last, last line of this question is uh, suitably changed. What is the what is the E prime of the E prime of the resultant cell? E prime of the resultant cell. Option A. Option A. E prime is. 0.03 volt higher than 
not three volt higher than E. B option E prime is point not six volt higher than E. C option E prime is point not six volt less than E. And D option D option E prime is point not three volt less than the E. What is your answer? No. You have you have derived the final equation E prime is equal to E minus point not three. Now in terms of this uh, restructure now given, what is the correct answer? E prime is point not three volt less than the E is the correct answer. Therefore, the same question, but given in the different restructure. But the procedure is one and the same. Now we are going to repeat the problem with the anode concentration and as well as change in the cathodic solution concentration. And one thing you may increase the concentration in another shell, you can another half shell, you can decrease the concentration. Or in both the cell, you can increase the concentration. Or in both the cell, you can decrease the concentration. All are depending upon you in designing the question and whatever may be this. The procedure is the same. Now tell me uh, what concentration you are going to change and the anode concentration, do you want to change anybody? If you want to change, either increase or decrease and if increase or decrease, by how much times you are going to increase or decrease? That answer should be that it should be furnished. Then only problem can be calculated, solved. Okay, anode concentration change. So is the case with the cathode concentration. Anybody? Anode concentration is? Increase or decrease? First, tell me the answer. Nobody? Shall I take down the question? Anode concentration is decreased by two times. Decreased by two times. Therefore, that is half of the original. And the cathode concentration is increased three times. Let us assume it is increased by three times. Now, what is the E prime value after changing this? Uh, shell, what would be the E prime of the resultant shell of the pattern, E prime. Therefore, you should give the E prime in terms of E plus varda minus varda. What is the value you are going to change and what is the value? The option will be given E plus or E minus and some value. The same, you know. First, write down the before the concentration change. Let it E and the standard shell EMF is E0 minus 0.06 for the same zinc we are going to take. Therefore, net electron change is the 2 into log of. Initially, we have taken the zinc concentration as Z10 2 plus and the copper concentration as copper 2 plus. Here we have given the in terms of concentration. Sometimes they may give the activity. If you see this in the place of uh, concentration, you can place the activity. Assuming here why we have changed the uh, concentration, assuming that uh, this uh, non-ideal solution is having activity coefficient equal to one, we have converted this activity equal to concentration. Okay, this is the first equation. And second equation, after changing the concentration, E is not the E, oh, EMF is not the E is a, it is a somewhat different from E. Let us have it as E prime. Then E not the same electrode, therefore the same electrode uh, standard voltage by two into log of. Now what you have changed? The anode concentration is decreased by two times. 
that is the concentration of zinc is half times the original. And why the copper 2 plus concentration is increased three times, therefore 3 into copper 2 plus. Suppose power is there, you have to uh, give the power to this number also. But here, it is uh, only one mole of zinc 2 plus and one mole of copper, therefore no necessity of powering this. Suppose you are, give, you are given a cell reaction like this, A plus 2B giving B to minus and A, just like this, 2B and B minus. Then you have to suitably uh, multiply for uh, finding out the quotient, you have to raise the stoichiometry. You all know this. While raising this, you should also raise this number that power is. What is the power you are going to raise? You should write down this. But uh, such equations, I think, will not be asked. If at all asked, you can suitably adjust this. Now, uh, spread this a lot factor as usual as we have done in the last one log of concentration of z and 2 plus by the concentration of copper 2 plus minus 0.06 by 2 into log of 1 by 6 log of 1 by 6 do you follow this then this is equal to what? This is equal to nothing but E. Therefore, E prime is equal to E into minus 0 0.03 into log 1 by 6. We will change log 1 by 6 as 6 power minus 1. And this minus 1 and this minus would be becoming plus. 0.03 into log of 6. What is log of 6? You were calculated, ask your calculator, it will give you the answer. What is log of 6? Anybody? Log of 6 is equal to 0 0.78. 78. Multiply it with 3.03. 24, 23. Uh, 8, uh, 24, 11, 23. 4 decimal point this one. Therefore, the answer is E is equal to plus 0 0.0234. This is the correct answer. What is the answer you can do that? You can easily calculate this. Such is such a problem, I think, so it so far not appearing in this, but it is a very good answer. And thank you, Surendra, for having brought that one to my knowledge. Okay, with this we will start our problems in the electrolyte concentration shell. Electrolyte concentration shell without transfer. And for this E of WOT, what is the formula we have given? Is equal to this point not 6 by N into log of the activity of the cathode by the activity of the anode or concentration of the uh, cathode by concentration of the anode compartment. Here also the quotient should be calculated accordingly uh, this one but here we are using the same uh, electrolyte therefore in the right hand side the two moles are appearing in the left hand side also there will be two moles you can simply uh, simplify this into one and one. Therefore, here I normally we are not uh, giving the power because the same electrolyte would be given. And this equation is applicable for, I have forgotten to tell this, this is applicable for one is to one electrolyte. If it's a uh, electrolyte is 1 is to 2 or 2 is to 1 type or 2 is to 3 or 3 is to 2 or 1 is to 3, the activity would be changed. You might have studied that activity coefficient, activity mean, ionic activity, etc. calculation. 
I thought that you are well versed in calculating the activity of ions whenever the electrolytes are uh, different based on shortening. Here I am. I have given the equation for the structural material at least two times, not than other than this one. If the other structural material are given, the activity would be slightly changed. For which you have to write down the overall reaction. From that you can find out what is the activity I have to furnish. You can easily furnish that one. Accordingly, for uh, calculating the equilibrium constant, you are raising the concentration term to some power that is the stoichiometry present in the equation. Similar calculation should be done to calculate the reaction quotient. For the simplification, now we have given for the one is two one that well. Okay, C2 by C1. Here, what are the variables present? The concentration of the cathode compartment, the concentration of the anode compartment, the number of electrons present, and the EMF of the shell without the transference. As we have yesterday seen the electrode potential concentration potential calculation. Similar methods are applicable to this, for which you have to find out this. And I will give you one or two um, problems. Then we will go for calculating with E with transference. Take down the problem. Find the potential difference. Find the potential difference between the hydrogen electrodes between the hydrogen electrodes in the shell in the shell take down the shell representation Or what is this? Is a representation of a cell? Yes, it is also a representation of a cell. But no such representation I have come across so far, sir. It is simply nothing but if you consider this one, you consider this one. This is a particular cell. Particular cell. Similarly, this is another cell. But their concentrations are different. This uh, other part, this part is here if you consider this one. Their concentrations are different. Therefore, this EMF and that EMF are different. Connect to these two shells in the serial. You will get another net EMF. That is also a called uh, yeah, electrolyte concentration cell. Sir, how is it possible to detect this? First, you look in, into the electrode present here. It is, what is the electrode present in the late hydrogen, one atmosphere. Here, the hydrogen in one atmosphere. Therefore, it is not electrode concentration shell. And uh, look at this, the electrolyte concentration. What is the electrolyte concentration? Point not one molar. Here also, there is 0.1 molar. There is a difference. Same electrolyte, but difference in their concentration. Therefore, it should be a electrolyte concentration cell. Okay, sir. So whether it is a cell with a transference or cell without a transference, here in between the two electrolyte, which is present, in between these electrolytes, the silver chloride is silver, that is metal, metal insoluble electrodes. 
this we call as a metal metal insoluble electrode you will start to see what are the types of electrodes present and this metal metal electrode types is acting as this acting as a salt bridge between these now forget this now uh, thinking that this metal metal salt electrolyte is acting as a salt bridge therefore there is no direct diffusion of the hcl from the concentrated cell to the less concentrated in shell therefore this is a shell without a transparent and for this without a transparent we are going to use v o t is equal to o point not 6 by n into log of the activity of the concentration of the hcl that is c2 by c1 here one doubt may be arising sir whether a power should be used or not how to use this here hydrogen is given and hcl is given if you consider the hydrogen it is zero oxidation state h plus it is plus one oxidation state how to this for our two hydrogen two electrons would be released sir how many hydrogen i have to put either one l one electron n is equal to one or n is equal to two it is your so i will tell you that hydrogen half hydrogen giving h plus therefore it's a one electron release process therefore hcl is would be that as such one mole of hcl would be that here also one mole of hcl and here the position is of h2 therefore one electron process therefore in finding out the quotient we are not you are going to use c2 power 2 or c1 power 1 on the other hand you can write it in another way i will write it and tell you this how how you have to find out i am going to take hydrogen gas as a full therefore it will furnish 2 h plus and 2 electron 2 h plus and 2 electron the h plus activity is 0.01 molar here this one and what is the cathodic reaction taking place the h plus ion present in the cathode would be accepting the electron forming the hydrogen h2 balance is 2 h2 and 2 electron and here the h plus ion concentration is 0.1 molar now if you add this you will getting what you will be getting h plus 2 h plus 0.1 molar transferring to 2 h plus 0.01 molar that is matter is transferred from higher concentration shell to lower concentration okay here if you make use of this net reaction then how many electrons would be involved two electrons then you have to put 0.06 by 2 into log of the concentration c2 this is the c2 concentration c2 concentration that is pi molar square divided by 0.01 molar square if you consider this square and this square you can put it in the common square if you take this in this bringing it from the log value equal to 2 into 2 into log of 0.1 by 0.01 this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled and this is the value instead i can tell you one thing hydrogen if you can make use of this hydrogen and not in the whole uh, full hydrogen half hydrogen you will get only one hydrogen and only one electron 0.1 molar then h plus and one electron giving half h2 now you would be having h plus one h plus and there also one h plus here one electron process therefore you can put 0.06 by 1 into log of how many h plus is there only one hydrogen is present therefore power 1 by not on these two are one and the same therefore if you are getting this hcl and hcl same electrolyte 
is having only plus one oxidation state. In such a case, it's one electron processing state. Zinc two, zinc sulfate and zinc sulfate, the concentrations are, it is having zinc two plus state, therefore, the end value would be two. Only, this is applicable only in the concentration, electrolyte, electrolyte concentration share. If aluminum sulfates are present, you can, the end value would be three. That's all. Therefore, by making use of this, you can, this and the activity may be kept, the power is, the concentration power is always, we can keep it into one. I think you understand the problem now, okay? And continue the problem. Continue the problem. Uh, find the potential difference between the hydrogen electrode in the shell at 25 degrees centigrade. At 25 degrees centigrade. The activity coefficient, here the concentration is not directly given. The activity coefficient of point not one molar and point one molar solutions, point one molar solutions are point nine five and point eight five respectively, respectively. Find the potential contributing option A, option A minus point five seven volt B point not five seven volt C minus point not two volt D minus or uh, plus point. 102 volt. What is the correct answer? Here of the four options, two options can be easily eliminated. How sir? Look at the problem. And in the HCL, in the anode compartment, what is the concentration given? 0.01 molar. What is the concentration given in the cathode compartment? 0.1 molar. And uh, Electrons would be moving from wood from where to where or in farther down from lower concentration side to higher concentration side. Therefore, as represented in the problem here, the E value if the electrons are moving from the left to, to right, E value would be positive. E value would be positive. Therefore, at the end of the problem. You should have the E value positive because we are calculating the cell EMF, generating the EMF. For the condition for the concentration electrolyte, the anode compartment the concentration electrolyte should be lower and cathode should be higher, then E value will be positive. If it is reversed, E value is negative. And with the respect to electrode potential concentration, electrode concentration potential, the activity of the left should be higher, activity of the electrode right should be lower. Then only E value is positive, which is we have seen in the last class itself. Making use of this, whether in our purpose, you would get a positive value for E or a negative value. First, tell me the answer. Positive or negative? Tell me. Positive. Yeah, it is positive because the anode compartment is lower concentration. And therefore, what we can eliminate with the two options, A and C. Therefore, remaining is the two. You can work out this and work out here concentration alone you should not be placed here they give the activity coefficient activity is equal to the a plus activity of the cation or activity of the anion here they are having only one cations only therefore activity of the cation is equal to activity coefficient r plus and the molality of the molality of the cation here the molality is given. Therefore, what is the formula we are going to write? E W O T is equal to 0.06. 
and here what is you are going to use two electron or one electron here you can make use of the hcl take the hcl and find out the electrons transferred one electron into log of the activity of the ions in the cathode by the activities of the ion in the anode activity means 0.06 by 1 into log of in the 0.1 molar and its activity coefficient is 0.85 therefore 0.85 into 0.1 divided by 0.01 in the a1 into 0.95 you multiply uh, by our inter by your internal calculator and you can find out the answer log of you can write it as 8.5 into 10 power minus 1 this is also 8.1 into 10 power minus 1 totally it is this one and here in the following one this is 9.5 into 10 power minus 1 below 1 into 10 power minus 3 therefore is 10 power minus 3 okay this is 10 and if you cancel in this you would get this is after cancelling you would get 10 power 3 upper and 10 power plus 3 10 power minus 1 85 divided by 9.5 okay 85 or 8.5 into 10 power 1 and how to divide this add 0.5 this and uh, convert in the whole number add 0.5 that one and you will get what is the result 0.06 into log of 9 divided by 10 into 10 power 1 that is nothing but log of 9 what is log of 9 tell me what your calculator says 0.06 into 0.06 into log of 9 calculator on your calculator 0.95 into 6 57 and 2 and 2 4.0757 which is the correct answer b is the correct answer 0.57 okay we say you can calculate then easily this one whatever may be the methodology is the same thing okay now take down the another type of problems and you can calculate what will be the another one yeah they calculate the millivolt mv the millivolt required for moving for moving potassium plus ion from extra cellular you have studied the bio inorganic chemistry in which in which cellular cellular in which the cell potassium ion is moving inside this and the sodium ion is coming out out of the cell and uh, is, uh, with respect to that bio inorganic chemistry i am giving this electrochemical problem potassium from uh, plus ion from extra cellular what do you mean by extra cellular from the outside the cell from extra cellular fluid of concentration 4 millimolar of concentration 4 millimolar to intracellular fluid of concentration 135 millimolar here lower concentration this is higher concentration at physiological temperature at physiological temperature that is our body temperature 37 degree centigrade and here e it is direct contact is not there 
and the cell wall would be there it is nothing but e w o t without transference without transference get a curved way of in path ripping in this method is there here temperature is given 37 degrees centigrade so far we have calculated the value from for 25 degree and using this we are using 2.3 into r into t all r by f all r equal to 0.06 it's not now if here in here we are going to use 298 degree kelvin but now you have to make use of 310 degree kelvin what to do 310 degree i think uh, even in the body temperature that is physiological temperature if you the correct value is 0.592 but for our calculation purpose we are putting is 0.06 we are using a approximation method why can't we take this 310 as equal to 300 if you are asked to calculate at 300 we are going to use 0.06 even 10 degree rise the 10 degree rise will give the answer equal to 0.06 only so very small increase is that therefore whatever the physiological temperature they have given we can make use of the point in r6 a constant for the purpose and options are given 94 millivolt b 94 minus 94 millivolt c 49 millivolt d minus 49 millivolt therefore e what is equal to point not 6 divided by by not 6 divided by solunga solunga by not 6 divided by n into log of c2 by c1 here potassium ion therefore the number of electrons involved in that process is equal to 1 it said and from which to which the transaction is taking place what is the net reaction that is going to be taking place potassium plus from extracellular ecl is going to transfer to potassium ion in the which one uh, sorry which one in the intracellular this is the net reaction is it the net reaction and this is equal to how much for nanometer millimolar here 135 millimolar here what is the potential required they are asking from this potential required means you have to supply you have to supply solunga electricity or em therefore the answer should be in negative not in positive therefore from the value they have given how much em millivolt is required definitely these two are not the answer therefore now you substitute this one and you can calculate what is this and this and solunga paakala enna varum for this for c2 0.06 by 1 into log of 4 divided by 135 That if we are inversing the solution, do you understand this one? Therefore, four divided by one hundred and thirty-five. Definitely, the answer should be in the minus because the quotient is a fraction, and you will get a minus value. Four divided by uh, four divided by one hundred and thirty-five equal to what? How to work out this? Sir? 
you can work out easily log 4 minus log of 135 log 4 is equal to 0.6 log of 135 is equal to 2 point that is one decimal one things so 1 point4 we can take it as a 1 point4 is not 135 but we should not give us as a one point uh, sorry 1.35 this is better into 10 power 2 apdi nonu podu yabagam irukka 1.1 135 can be written as this much apdi podu therefore what would be the value for this 1.35 1.35 or 1.4 you can calculate log of 1 is equal to 0 0 0 log of 2 is equal to 0 0.3010 therefore log of uh, point 1.4 that is 1.4 will be definitely less than 0.15 or we can put it 0.14 therefore what would be the net value for this minus 1.54 Therefore, place this, you will get minus of 0.06 into 1.54. Multiply this one, 1.54 into 6, 24, 2, 3, and 9, 2 decimal and 2 decimal, 4 decimal, 1, 2, 3, 4, or this can be written as 92.4 into 10 power minus 3 volt. This 10 power minus 3 is nothing but milli. Therefore, the answer would be very nearer to 92.4. What is the answer given? Minus 94 is the answer given. Therefore, that is the correct answer. Do you understand this? All these problems can be made easier. You should but practicing it, then only it will be easier for you. Just to looking into this, you can't see it easier one. Okay, shall I give another question for you? Hello? Shall I give you another question? Yes, sir. A concentration shell constructed from two hydrogen electrodes two hydrogen electrodes both with both with pressure of hydrogen is equal to one atmosphere that is two hydrogen electrodes both with the pressure of hydrogen is equal to one atmosphere one electrode is dipped in pure water this type of problem is not at all asked so far what can be asked? Immerse in a pure water and the other in 6 molar HCl. In one, it is uh, dipped, the hydrogen is uh, dipped in pure water and another 6 molar HCl. Acid. What is the EMF generated by the cell? What is the EMF generated by the cell? And what is the identity of the electrode? Identity of the electrode that is immersed in HCl acid. That is immersed in the HCl acid. What they have asked the HCl acid the different whether it is a cathode or anode, tell the answer. They are asking like that too. In one, how to write down this? In one, they are placing this water and another six molar HCl. In water, sir, no acid is present in water. You are wrong. In it is having a H plus ion concentration of 10 power minus 7 molar concentration. We have studied. Here the concentration of the H plus ion 6 molar, here the concentration of H plus ion is 10 power minus 7 molars, and which would act as the anode, which would be act as a cathode. 
in the concentration electrolyte concentration shell the electrolyte having lower concentration would act as the anode the electrolyte with higher concentration would act as the cathode therefore the electrode dipped in hcl is the cathode and the electrode dipped in pure water is the anode now you can write down the cell as pt hydrogen here they have given both is in the atmosphere but water here water and without the concentration without the transparent therefore i am putting the salt to it and h plus here it is 6 molar and the hydrogen gas here also on second one at mass here and it is platinum okay and water here the h plus ion concentration is equal to 10 power minus 7 molar don't forget here the high electrode activities are same but the electrolyte activities are different therefore cell is and uh, uh, options are given a minus 0.23 volt b 0.46 volt c 0.023 volt d point oh sir another thing i have forgotten to give point not three uh, first one two questions are asked one is calculate the cell emf and second is the identity of the electrode therefore you should also represent this the first distracted you should write down minus 0.23 volt comma cathode and another is 0.46 anode next to c point not 23 volt anode and d point 23 volt cathode and e point 23 volt anode anode okay that is immersed in hcl gadrogo that is immersed in hcl whether the given distractor of right or wrong we will correct we will find it out the road wrong or from our i feel okay we will calculate how what is the correct answer but we have given it as a cathode and here what is asked the emf is generated what is the emf generated generated means e is zero therefore the option a is can be ruled out can be ruled out we will see the problem one by one first for this problem what is the equation to be written e without the transfer or transport is equal to e not is equal to 0.06 by how many electron you can put if you put two electron looking into the hydrogen two electrons are furnished then 2h plus and 2h plus you have to finding out the quotient you should uh, raise the concentration to the power 2 or if you take the half of hydrogen this one electron transfer is yeah, you can use this as such i have already clearly explained this into laga the concentration of the in the cathode compartment that is c2 by c1 c2 is 6 molar divided by the concentration is 10 power minus 14 now you have to rearrange this one how you can write this log of 6 minus log of 10 power minus 40 okay and so log 3 power minus 7 i'm sorry thank you thank you thank you for indicating the wrong way minus 7 okay this is log of 
minus of log 10 power minus 7. Now rearrange this log of 6 is equal to how much? So look at answer. Wow. Point. So look at 0.78. And this one is plus 7. Okay. Then find out this uh, difference. 6 point. 6 point. Arichan number 6.221. I'm sorry, 6.221. Therefore, this is equal to 6.22. Multiply with the per can number 12, 13, 3, 7. Where I have this, this one. Thank you. I uh, this is plus and plus, not the difference. 7.78. .7. Sorry, thank you very much. It is 7.78 uh, into 6. Multiply it. Point four six. it should be there. Therefore, if you multiply this, you will get 8 and 48, 46, and 4.6. This is 2 decimal, 2 decimal. Therefore, the correct answer is 0.47 volt. Where it is a forever answer, 0.47, it is 0.46. But they indicate it as an anode. Definitely, it is not the anode, it is the cathode. Therefore, you simply change this and as the cathode. Do you follow this? It's a cathode. You, we can you we can also identify the error if you well worth in this one. Sir. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sir, water or ionic product from the 10 to the power minus 14 then is a yes, seven is control. <laughs> what is ionic product of water? So you know talk along. Not the be can deepen as well as an Ionic product of water that is H2O giving H plus and OH minus. What is the equilibrium concentration? K is equal to the concentration of H plus into the concentration of OH minus divided by the concentration of the water. Actually, equilibrium constant should not be given in terms of concentration, it should be given in terms of activity of H plus activity of OH minus by activity of water for a pure liquid or water or liquid and for solid the activity is taken to be one therefore here the equilibrium constant is called it is called we are calculating the K by multiplying the activity of the ions therefore the K is called the ionic product which ions are furnished the H plus ion and the OH minus ion therefore it is called ionic product of water if you take the non sum ammonia it is ionizing as NH2 minus and H plus let us assume like this it is acting like this then what is the ionic product of this ammonia non aqueous solvents? Activity of NH2 minus interactivity of H plus. It is called as the ionic product of ammonia. Similarly, alcohol, so on. You can give the ionic product of this, that only. And upon it, we calculated the value is found to be 10 power minus 4 E. The 10 power minus 14 is due to the activity of H plus and the activity of the OH minus, here the concentration is very, very small. Therefore, we take the activity coefficient is equal to 1. Therefore, in the place of activity, you can put it in the concentration of H plus in the concentration of OH minus. And according to what is the concentration of H plus, that would be the number of moons of the OH minus also. Therefore, if you put it as the X concentration, it is X x square is equal to 10 power minus 14. What is x? 10 power minus 7. Do you follow? Yes, sir. 
இதுக்கு டயானி ப்ராடக்ட் இஸ் டென் பவர் மைனஸ் ஃபோர்டீன் பட் கான்சன்ட்ரேஷன் ஆஃப் ஹெச் பிளஸ் டென் பவர் மைனஸ் செவன் அண்ட் த கான்சன்ட்ரேஷன் ஆஃப் ஓஹெச் மைனஸ் இஸ் டென் பவர் மைனஸ் செவன் தேர் ஃபோர் அயானி ப்ராடக்ட் ஆஃப் வாட்டர் இஸ் டென் பவர் மைனஸ் ஓகே டேக் டவுன் த நெக்ஸ்ட் ப்ராப்ளம் டேக் டவுன் த நெக்ஸ்ட் ப்ராப்ளம் எ கான்சன்ட்ரேஷன் செல் இஸ் கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ட் வித் டூ வித் டூ zinc sulfur solid state giving zinc 2 plus half shells half shells in one half shell is concentration of z2 plus is equal to 1.35 molar in another concentration of zinc 2 plus is equal to 3.75 to 10 power minus 4 molar which half shell is the no what is the emf of the shell which half shell is the no which is the, what is the emf of the shell or put pan it alama pa which would be an or sollunga paakalam first give me the answer which would be the anode which would be the anode na marandu pocha orthrume solla matengireenga hello unmute your mic second chair Okay. so the time is consuming i will give it to this because no such problems such problems are not so far asked in the csr pattern if at all asked you can easily answer this also take down this problem what is the equation to be used for the calculation of emf of the following concentration shell emf of the concentration following concentration shell pt h2 bar hcl x molar double bar ch3 cooh y molar bar hydrogen pt and they will give various ana kodutruvanga equations would be given what is the correct equation by which you can calculate the emf of this concentration cell such a question so far it's not asked but i am going to give you this how to calculate if such questions are given and as you should you if you consider this hydrogen as a half h then one electron transfer here hcl is a strong acid therefore the activity of the h plus ion is the x molar what would be the activity of the acetic acid it is not a, and the h plus ion activity is not equivalent to y molar you know it is a weak acid therefore you have to calculate what is the concentration of h plus in the weak acid that is the uh, difference given in the concentration shell electrolyte concentration shell here also h plus is the electrolyte here also an acid is the electrolyte but when one we are giving the strong acid and another we are giving the weak acid in the strong acid you can give the activity of the h plus ion very easily but in the case of weak electrolyte you have to give very Yeah, you have to calculate this. And what is the net reaction according to this? The net reaction to be used is the acetic acid. 
from the acetic acid here the concentration y molar to the concentration hcl this is the net reaction because it is a reactant bar hcl is a product this is the reactant this is the this one okay this is the a2 what in among which irukum and the given is the a1 in which irukum here x molar here is equal to point not six is not by number of electron transfer is one if two in putting na you have to raise the power to two and the log of the activity is no day activity first to put one divided by this one what is the activity h plus concentration in the weak acid for the weak acid you have derived an equation what is the concentration i think uh whether you know it or not i will derive the equation then you will understand this the weak acid undergoes initiation to give h plus and a minus initially one mole of anionized acid is present let us assume and it is uh, the zero concentration of h plus and and is yeah a minus is there let alpha appear the degree of dissociation at equilibrium therefore alpha moles of hc would be undergoing dissociation the remaining concentration uh, at the equilibrium is 1 minus alpha and here one hc plus ion is there therefore alpha hc plus ion and alpha a minus would be there this is the equilibrium concentration and ka the acid dissociation constant is given by the equation alpha square by 1 minus alpha this is you have already studied but if initial concentration is y then you multiply this one mole edukumbodu you should multiply this y alpha into y alpha in such cases in such cases in such cases ka is given by the equation y alpha y square alpha square by y into 1 minus alpha and this y and this y can cancel and ka we can take generally assume that alpha is a weak acid therefore the dissociation is very 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 small therefore the alpha can be neglected in comparison with this one therefore ka is equal to y alpha square or the degree of dissociation alpha is equal to ka by y square root k am i correct root of ka by y therefore what is the concentration of h plus the concentration of h plus is y alpha therefore concentration of h plus is equal to y into alpha is equal to root of ka by y equal to root of ka into y this is the equation you have already derived in your and chemical equilibrium i think so h plus is equal to or a minus is equal to root of ka the dissociation constant into the concentration of the acid taken it is an approximation why it is an approximation here we assume that 1 minus alpha is equal to 1 itself and therefore what is the concentration of acid na acid h plus ion present here is not y molar it is root of ka into y here the concentration of present in the in the anode compartment is x therefore now e can be written as 0.06 into log of the concentration in this one which one the a2 a cathode compartment therefore a yeah, cathode is acetic acid its concentration is ka into y power half divided by x this is the equation you have to use to calculate the emf of this type of electrode conduction electrode chemical electrolyte concentration cell 
This is the equation we are deriving. Because we are the acid we have taken as a weak acid. I think you understand this, but no such problem so far as if you ask, you can easily tell me, tell the answer. Similarly, another one is platinum as a contact even hydrogen gas giving uh, the dipped in HCN hydro hydrocyanic acid. The concentration is x molar and with a salt bridge and acetic acid. Here also acid is furnished and it is a y molar and in which also hydrogen is deep and platinum. Here, what is the pressure of hydrogen is not given. Therefore, it will be a one atmosphere pressure. Now, we have, you have uh, represented the uh, electrolyte concentration cell. Here, the H plus ion should be there. Here, H plus ion, the same electrolyte ion concentration. What is the E value, E equation, which is the correct uh, EMF equation? used for this type of electrolyte concentration cell. And here, you are going to use 0 0.06 by 1 into log of the concentration of the anode by the concentration of the cathode. Here, we have already derived the concentration of this acetic acid. So is the case with the cyanide. Let us assume that acetic acid is having the dissociation constant Ka2 and the cyanide is having the dissociation constant Ka1. Therefore, H plus from the acetic acid is equal to root of Ka2Y and the H plus from HCN. It is also a weak electrolyte. Root of Ka1 into its concentration is X molar. And here the concentration, log of concentration of the cathode, therefore Ka2y power half divided by Ka1x power half. Sometimes they may give you a problem and equation, they will stop the equation like this, or it may be further simplified as log of Ka2y by Ka1x power half or further simplification 0.06 the half may be brought before this half into log of Ka2y by Ka1x this then this may be cancelled and it will be 0.03 in the log of this miles. This is the final. After this, we count this one. And the E can be calculated for this type of cell if you, you are provided with Ka2 and Ka1, Y and Tx. No such problem is so far asked. If at all asked, you can do this. These are the higher difficulty level. But the, such problems can also be calculated using your own calculator. Can be calculated using your own calculator. Therefore, sharpen your calculator. Okay, now with that one, we will go for the next type of calculation that is EMFR. EMFR shell with EMFR with the, um, which one so long, uh, with the transference number we will see that one take down the question for the concentration cell for the concentration cell take down this one mercury liquid Mercurous chloride solid. This is a metal metal insoluble electrode. Dipped in KCl. Its activity is 0.06 molar. Generally, it is molar activity calculated. They would give it in terms of 
molar otherwise you will be given in terms of molarity a equal to it. then single line the single line indicates the semi perimeter membrane or dotted lines will be given and the kcl point 25 molar bar mercurous chloride cl to solid and mercury in the liquid state and you look this into this is whether it is a correct representation of the electrolyte concentration shell if it is electrolyte concentration shell this electrode and this electrode should be say the electrolyte should be the same but concentration should be different and the lower concentration should be in the left hand side higher concentration should be in the right hand side question calculate the emf of the shell calculate the emf of the shell without transference idhe id transference nadakala thinking uh, keeping it in mind that there is no transference at all then what is the e of wot calculate this second question calculate the emf of the shell when transference of both ions takes place transference of both ions takes place a given given the transport number of potassium ion is equal to 0.49 transport number of potassium ion is equal to 0.49 and you know our uh, e w o t r you can easily calculate this 0.06 why how much electrons are involved in the process this mercurous mercury in the zero state and mercury is plus one state that plus one electron would be used by kcl therefore we can take it as one here and log of the concentration of the electrolyte in the cathode compartment 0.25 divided by the anode compartment 0.06 idha idha varuthu polunga potta enna varudhu paarunga divided by this 25.06 illana we will have one one thing like this instead of 0.25 keep it as 0.24 it will be easier for us for calculation potta enna varudhu pa log of log of 0.24 divided by 0.06 is equal to how much log of 4 right ana hello right ah tappa correct sir log of 4 is equal to how much 0.6 point 60 perkunga perkna enna kedaikum 36 how much point not 36 volt this is e volt without this one in a case of the second question what is the e with respect to uh, or with respect to with the transfer other can a moment of order form in a better form the same equation point not six into log of the same one into point not six is there a wrong and here we have to give the transport number what is the transport number here the transport number 2 times so the t plus the transport number of the cation and t minus the transport number of the anion whether you have to put it as t plus or t minus for which we have to see the electrode reaction in the end electrode reaction the end electrode reaction here what happened mercurous chloride will take the electron forming mercury and chloride ion would be formed and this electrode is reversible with respect to the anion if it is reversible with respect to anion you should put the t plus 
if it is reversible with respect to cation, you should put the T minus. Therefore, here to verse it is given as 0.49, and for this already we have calculated 0.036. Therefore, what would be the value? Let us have this value is equal to 0.5 half. Therefore, the value would be 0 0.0018. It is very narrow to 0 0.018. That for EWT is a different from EWOT. Why there is a difference? We have studied that EWT that is with the transparent involving the liquid junction potential. Involving liquid junction potential. Whereas EWOT is not having liquid junction potential. If you add liquid junction potential, that is E of Lj, to the uh, cell without a transferrin, that uh, EWOT would be converted to EWT. Therefore, E, take down these relations, EOT, add the liquid junction potential to this ELJ, it will give you the E of WT. Now, can you calculate what is the liquid junction potential the cell represented above? You know, E W O T, E W T, you can calculate E liquid junction potential. Whether it is possible or not, yes, it is possible. Therefore, for calculating the liquid junction potential you should have these two value you can calculate but there is a one more equation to calculate elj okay now we are going to call what is that equation to calculate elj that is liquid junction potential take down this elj the derivation i am not going to give you you don't refer any uh, test, standard textbook that is given by the equation that is T, the transport number of the anion minus the transport number of the cation into log of that is into the import guru, our standard condition 0.06 into N. N is the number of electrons involved in the process into log of the activity of the ions present in the cathode compartment. Activities of the ions present in the anode compartment. If these two are given, you can find out in two ways. One way you should find out first EWOT. What is the EWOT? Then you have to calculate EWT. Use making use of this, you can calculate ELJ. Or instead of this, ELJ can be directly calculated using this one. Using this one, where T minus is the transport number of the negative ion, anion, and T plus is the uh, transport number of the cathode. And here, one thing can be asked. What is asked? You can keep it in mind. ELJ value. What happened to the ELJ value? When T1, I'm sorry, sorry. T plus is equal to T1. What happened? The ELJ value is equal to what? Anybody. ELJ value is equal to what? Look at zero. It. it is equal to zero. zero. There is no liquid junction potential under this condition. E of WOT is equal to E of WT. Therefore, when, when will the E of WT would be equal to E of WOT? If the transport number of the cation and the transport number of the anion is equal, what do you mean by transport number? The fraction of the current conducted by the anion should be equal to the fraction of the current conducted by the These two fractions should be equal to 
when t plus plus t minus is equal to one. Then the second condition, t plus is equal to n solo. Now we have placed as a equal to bottom. Now so long as the n of say one, t plus is so greater than greater than the transport number of the anion. Then e j value would be how much is a positive or negative value. So long as positive or negative value. Negative. It is a negative value. The third condition, so long as t plus is less than t minus, then it is positive. It is positive. Okay. Now take down this problem. And you can immediately tell whether it's a positive or negative. The EMF of the concentration shell with the transference with the transference is WIC is a that is namely PT hydrogen one atmosphere dipped in H plus. Activity A plus or minus activity is equal to 0 0.009. Activity is having no unit at all. Why there is no unit at all? Anybody or go and refer and or, uh, instead of HCL, we will put it as HCL. We will put it as a HCL. And in this also HCL activity is equal to point not one eight in hydrogen one atmosphere comma or semicolon platinum the platinum is a electrical contact because hydrogen is having no solid electric contact yes yes Point two, not two eight volt at twenty five degrees centigrade. Twenty five degrees centigrade. The EMF of the corresponding cell. The corresponding cell without a transport BOT is. Point not one seven volt. This is E W T. It is E W O T. Calculate a liquid junction potential. Liquid junction potential. B. The T plus R. The T plus R, H U plus. That is transport number of H U plus. You have to find out. Okay. So let's go back along. Can't do it. Engel back along. What is liquid junction potential? That I have to ask you. E of W T is equal to. E of W, sorry, E of W T is equal to E of W O T plus E of L J, and it is given point not two eight is equal to W O T is equal to point not one seven. Therefore, E of L J is equal to how much? E of L J is equal to how much? Point. This is X. X is equal to Y. Reaching in a point not one one four. Now it is given point not one one volt. Now E L J is given. Yeah, you have to calculate the T plus E of L J is equal to T minus by T plus is not equal to log of the activity in the Cathode by the act of activity A1 that is 0.06. I have forgotten. 0.06 by n. N is equal to number of hydrogen electrons involved is one, 
and t minus and t plus is a photon. That is our E of L J. How much? Tell me. That is easy to tell you. What is it? How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? Calculate it. Into point not six into log of eight activity point. Point not one eight divided by point not not nine equal to t minus or t plus is into is the log of two or on point three into point six equal to point eight okay that is equal to point not one one four. Correct it, Anna. Then, if I if I am perfect about thing, na t minus some t plus is equal to how much? Not one one by point not one eight. That is eleven by eighty. Eleven by eighty. Then, how to proceed, sir? You can easily proceed. How, oh, sir? You know the relationship t plus and t minus is equal to one. Therefore, t t minus would be equal to one minus t plus. Therefore, in the place of t minus, you can put one minus this one, one minus t plus minus t plus is equal to this much. Are equal to minus two t plus is equal to eleven by eight minus one equal to eleven minus eighteen by eighteen minus two t plus is equal to this much. Or two t plus is equal to seven by eighteen. Or t plus is equal to seven by thirty six. Nearly, it should be equal to point two. Point two. What is the correct answer? What is the correct answer, pa? What is the correct answer? Seven by thirty-six. I have written this less than. This less than point two. What is the correct answer? अब कैलकुलेटर यूज़ कर रही हूँ ना सेवेन डिवाइडेड पॉइंट टू बी से पॉइंट वन नाइन सर हाँ पॉइंट वन नाइन वो इस वेरी नियर टू पॉइंट टू वो ओके यू में भी आस टी माइनस और टी प्लस या इफ टी माइनस टी प्लस इज़ यूज़ यू मेक यूज़ ऑफ़ दिस इक्वेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू चेंज द कैलकुलेशन ओके दिस इज़ Calculation. Next, we will go for the last session. I'm say, I'm sorry, last but one because I have already given in the present uh, initial and the beginning day. But the fuel cell is also I am going to discuss. Therefore, if time permits, we will discuss the fuel cell today. Otherwise, we will drop on to the next session and a potentiometry. Potential metric titrations. Let's have the potential metric titration. Yes, uh, what is the main applications and what is the question already asked in this potential metric titration? And uh, the analysis we are ending with the metric, metric, metric. You are coming up across the metric. What are the metric you have come across? Tell me. What are the metric? Tell me. Voltammetry. Voltammetry one. Potentiometry, conductometry. Potentiometry, conductometry. Next. Mass spectrometry. Yes. Calorimetry. Calorimetry. Okay. Mass spectrometry. Mass spectrometry. Calorimetry. Calorimetry. Conductometry. Then potentiometry, then only this metric. Next, volumetry, volumetry, 
okay gravimetry and next amperometry and amperometry yeah voltmetry and from the name itself in this analysis we are going to find out which in the mass spectrometry here this analysis is done to by measuring the mass of the fragmented species in the calorimetry we are measuring the intensity of the color thereby we are going to find how to going to find the the concentration of a particular metal ion that we call it as a calorimetry the calo calorimetry what is the amount of heat liberated in the from that amount of heat liberated we can find out the identify the amount of the substance present therefore here we call it as a calorimetry and conductometry from the conductivity of the solution we can also estimate the given solution by measuring conductivity of the solution potentiometry we are going to measure what is the potential that is derived during the titration by measuring the potential we are going to estimate the ions present in a given solution that we call as potentiometry in the volumetric analysis you are measuring the volume of the reactants necessary for reaching the end point that we call as the volume and uh, what is a gravimetry anybody what is gravimetry in gravimetry you are finding out or you are estimating the solution by calculating which parameter by calculating mass the mass the weight of the substance you have precipitated the weight of the substance then you should call it as the weightometry then we should call it as a gravimetry we call it the standard hydrogen electrode or one normal hydrogen electrode that is a hydrogen electrode three normal h plus and therefore normal hydrogen electrode here it's a e not value sorry epsilon not value is equal to zero is the reference is that you can couple it with any things you can and want to make the cell and you can easily measure this one therefore next first two one is this one but in many laboratory we are not going to use this hydrogen electrode because we have to generate a hydrogen pure hydrogen should be generated and platinum passing through electrical contact is the platinum instead we are normally using a calomel electrode the calomel electrode the name is uh, the calomel calomel is nothing but the mercurous chloride it is insoluble substance and the electrical contact we use is the mercury therefore mercury chloride and here potassium chloride is it this is the reference electrode and the mercury mercurous chloride we call this as metal metal insoluble electrode metal insoluble electrode metal metal insoluble oxidative electrode gas electrode and uh, you know this and then metal metal electrode and so on this is a which type in the cat it is belonging to which category metal metal insoluble electrode they dipped in potassium chloride and depending upon the concentration of the electrolyte kcl used that the electrode potential is going on change for example when the concentration of kcl is saturated that is you have to choose water and add kcl and going on dissolving until it remains and dissolved at the bottom then dipped this mercurous chloride uh, mercury in that now you get a calomel electrode what is the name of that calomel electrode saturated calomel electrode yes see you might have studied and what is its uh, reduction potential value 
here we are going to give the reduction potential. The reduction potential will be 5 into 2, 4, 2, 2. That is mercurous bar mercury. This is the reduction potential. Instead of saturated KCl, you can make use of one normal KCl. Now the name is given as the normal columnal electrode NCE. Its potential is definitely change as the concentration decreases the reduction potential. There is 0.28. And then 0 0.1 normal KCL can also be used. This is called a desinormal columnal electrode or a DNC. Desinormal columnal electrode. There is three kinds of Aluminum electrode use, you might have used in your laboratory in the, uh, doing this uh, physical chemistry experiment, 0 0.2385. And you are asked to memorize this value for doing calculation. And the other type of uh, electrode used is the Western cadmium cell, standard Western cadmium cell. You know, Cadmium cell or a Western cadmium standard is cell, they are might have also called like this. And the potential use of uh, this is 1.01845. And here, cadmium amalgam, cadmium alum has the electrode. What is it? 1.5%. If you take 100 gram of this one, or 100 gram of mercury contains 12.5, it is mass per mass means of total weight is 100 of this, 12.5 is the mass of cadmium, the remaining is the mass of mercury. That is called 12.5% cadmium amalgam. It is dipped in the cadmium sulfate solid. And cadmium sulfate saturated solution in the cathode compartment. And the mercurous sulfate, HGSO4, and mercury. And here, this is, this alone we call as the standard cadmium shell, okay, standard shell. This can be, you might have also seen this western cadmium cell. Therefore, in potential motorization, you should have coupled this one and using this reference electrode potential, you can calculate the variation in the electrode reactions of the upper cough shells under consideration. And uh, you know all this one because you have already studied this one. And then you are plotting three curves for this one, potential titration. That is E value, that is electrode potential value of the shell under, con under consideration, half shells under estimation. E value is positive or E value will be negative. And the volume of the base here, volume of the base added or anything, or volume of the titrant, titrant and titrant, I would like to really put a repeat here. And here, the potential would be going on. What is the basic principle? It is going on, increasing or decreasing. At the equivalence point, there is a sudden increase, and then potential would be remaining constant. There is a sudden increase. And where is the place? There is a sudden increase that place for which we will draw a straight line, a tangent here. And the mid of that straight line, we are play, plotting this. This is the equivalence point. We want to call this as the end of the titration. You should call it as the equivalence point. We should not use as the end of the titration. Then this is the end point. You should call it as the volumetric analysis. But here we call it as the equivalence point. What's the difference? Then why you should not use as the end point and so on. You go and refer. And here, taking the volume of the titrant at the sudden change, 
it will be in, uh, introducing the erroneous results because we, we can't see whether the sudden change that is a straightened portion is here or there, here, but it will be lying in this position. In order to get to the correct one here, the E is a function of the volume added, volume of the tight end added. To get accurate value, the mathematics tell us uh, one thing. Take the first derivative of the F, derivative of the electrode potential. Derivative means d e by it is a function is v. Therefore, change in the volume, a small change in the volume. What is a small change in the electrode potential? And you plot d e by d v. Or you might have come across as delta e by the difference is called either delta or a differential. Under this condition, at this maximum, that is the actual position, they will be reaching the maximum. In the quantum mechanics, you might have studied how to attain the maximum or minima using the function and for which you have to differentiate this one. And if you differentiate, you will get a graph like this. This is a graph you will be getting on second zero, but here the measured is a DE by DE. Here the volume of the tight trend added. Here also, sometimes you may get a correct accurate answer. Here there is a plot like this. If it is, this is whether this is the equivalence point or this is the equivalence point or this is the equivalence point. Once again, uncertainty arises. In order to get certain certainty, you should undergo a double differentiation. If you do this, a single differentiation, if you write this as this one, it is non this uh, differentiated one E value. This means DE by D epsilon by DV. This means is D squared epsilon by dv double disintegration if you plot the double disintegration the maxima and minima can be obtained very easily it will directly give you this this is the zero value and d square e by dv square is either positive or negative but here d by dv is always positive and here also the d by is all uh, epsilon is always positive, but in the second derivative, the value may be either positive or zero or negative. If you uh, do the second derivative, the nature of the curve would be changed like this. This going on increasing and suddenly decrease, and this one. This we call as the maximum, this is the minima. The equivalence point is that point at which. The value is equal to zero, that is dou square e by dou v square is equal to zero. At that point, this is the actual volume of the tight end added. This way we can easily find out this, then substitute in the equation, and you are going to find out the calculations and etc. What is the problem asked in this type of section? Take down the base. And now you will give the answer for this. Take down the question that is already asked in the CSR examination. For a potentiometric titration, for a potentiometric titration, in the curve of EMF, in the curve of EMF, that is epsilon, epsilon versus volume, that is V, of the tight trend added versus volume V of the tight trend added. The equivalence point is indicated by, the equivalence point is indicated by option A. DE by DV modulus is equal to zero, comma, 
d square e by d v square modulus equal to zero. B option d e by d v modulus is equal to zero comma d square e by d v square should be greater than zero. C option d e by d v should be greater than zero and d square e by d v square should be equal to zero and d option modulus d e by d v is greater than zero and d square e by dv square modulus should be greater than zero what is the correct answer sir tell me what is the correct answer c is the correct answer we have we have already discussed that this is zero and here is everywhere positive here is here positive and negative and the actual value is given by the d square d by dv square is equal to zero that we have given in the principle of identifying the equivalence point that is asked in terms of this here the equivalence point here it is positive greater positive that is greater than zero here it is zero this is the correct answer it is not greater than zero therefore this option and this option is wrong of these two which is the correct answer you can tell the answer okay then next question is and uh, two more problems or uh, four problems are there whether to work out or not I mean, do you want to work out this one hello okay take down the problem the cell reaction this is the another application of this potentiometry the second application this is the Oh, the applications I have not started. Okay, step by step, shall we shall go for this. This potentiometric titration can be used, uh, can be used for the acid-based titration. You can make use of the acid-based titration. In the acid-based titration, you have to take, you have to construct a half shell in which acid is taken and you have to add from the burette the base OH minus and you have to add an electrode which is active here which electrode should be active in the H plus ion not hydrogen electrode we can't make use of it instead yeah hydrogen electrode you can also use if the hydrogen is available otherwise you can make use of the queen hydron electrode there is a queen hydrogen you are adding Queen on to this one and it will be converted into uh, queen hydro and quinone electrode. And uh, the conversion of the queen on to queen hydro will lead to the difference in the concentration and it will give you the potential for the electrical contact. You are using the platinum. And now the solution is saturated with the queen hydro, quinone solutions, uh, sorry, solid. It, this is uh, also you have then in your carried out in your laboratory and another is the addicted in next frequently use is the redox titration that is a titration then why the another one putting a ferrous and ceric ferrous and ceric ceric is the oxidant ferrous is the reductant you are going to carry out this one then next is the precipitation titration precipitation titration here those titration in which the concentration change the concentration change is taking place the voltage will be automatically changed the change in the voltage as the volume of the titrant added is plotted and you find out the equivalence part provided you know the standard uh, solution the titrant you have added should be a standard 
Okay, then what is the advantage of this one? These methods can be acid based addition, can be easily done by using this polygon flask and burette. Why should I go for this one? If the given solution is a colored one, for example, the H plus ion is a mixed with a dye, a red dye is there, and you are mixed with this one, you are mixing this dye with one, or you are given a which is a hydrochloric acid solution, which is contaminated with a dye. Therefore, you can't make use of the indicator. You can't see the color change. Therefore, you can't arrive at the end point. In such cases, you can easily carry out the estimation using the potential margin. So is the case with the ferrous sulfate estimation. If the ferrous sulfate is contaminated with some organic dyes, you can carry out the estimation making this of this one. Okay, this uh, this uh, has an important application of this. Therefore, the oxidizations you can carry out, and uh, the determination of the pH is very very essential. And the pH determination, what you are going to do is you are adding the quinone to the H plus ion. It will form a hydroquinone. There is a equilibrium between quinone and this one. Two H plus and two electron. It will form one electrode. From this electron is transferred to another electrode through the electrical conduct plate. And it should be coupled with a reference electrode. Then only we can have that. Here the concentration of H plus ion is slowly going on, decreasing by adding OH minus ion. Therefore, H plus ion concentration is slowly changing. Accordingly, the queen hydrogen the electrode potential is also changing. Plot this change in the potential with respect to the volume added, you can easily calculate the H plus ion concentration. If H plus ion concentration is calculated, it means you can calculate what is the pH of the solution. Here I'm going to give this one, take down the question. The shell reaction, the shell reaction involving queen hydron electrode, queen hydron electrode yes, is write down the reaction queen hydrone is converted into quino plus 2 H plus plus 2 electron E naught is equal to 1.3 calculate the electrode potential Calculate the electrode potential. I have I have changed the questions. Sorry, I uh, calculate the electrode potential at pH three. At pH three. Here, uh, this type of problem. Okay, we will work out this, and then I will give you some other problem. And here. You are going to calculate at pH 3 that H plus ion concentration is changed. Epsilon 0 means it is at the standard condition. Therefore, at pH 3 it is going to be changed. Option A given 1.48 volt, B 1.3 volt, C 1.2 volt, D 1.1 volt. Therefore, epsilon is equal to, you have to make use of the Nernst equation, minus 0 0.06 by, how many electrons are involved? Two electrons are involved. Into the equation, log of product size, what are the involved? Reactant size, what are involved? The H plus ion concentration, power two. And the electrons activity is always taken to be one. Here, coin hydrone, I'm sorry. And quinone is present, it is also present in the solid form during this reaction. Its activity is also taken to be one. The hydroquinone it is also in solid state, its activity is taken to be one. Therefore, this is the equation. Now, 
H plus ion concentration is changed to pH thrice. It is given as pH thrice. Okay, uh, do you want to calculate the H plus ion concentration from the pH thrice? No necessity of calculating this one. Uh, look at the slight change in this. Epsilon, instead of epsilon, we write it as 1.3 minus 0.06 and power 2 can be brought before the log and the log of H plus. Okay, this, this and this gets cancelled. 1.3. Minus log of H plus is nothing but tell me what is minus log of H plus pH. pH. Therefore, now the equation is changed as 1.3 plus 0.06 pH. At the pH 3 is asked just to put the 3 and multiply it. What is the correct answer? What is the correct answer? Option A is the correct answer. This is the question in answer. So what is the case with the problem is the determination of the pH using uh, the potential matrix. Take down the last two problems of this potential matrix calculation one. Then we will go for the next in the floor and sorry, what is called there. the fuel cells in the next class. Take down this one. When the queen hydron, queen hydron electrode is dipped in acidic solution, it acts as a, it acts as a cathode in the shell. Cathode as a shell. And it is coupled with I'm sorry, coupled with the saturated columnal electrode. Saturated columnal electrode, which is acting as the anode, which is acting as the anode. The cell EMF is found to be 0.16. The cell EMF is found to be 0.16. Find out the pH of the solution. Find out the pH of the solution. Option A, 3, B4, C5, 6, and D. 5.7 this is the correct answer. Look here, it's a queen hydron electron is acting as the anode and cathode. Therefore, epsilon not a queen hydron cathode law oxidation should be taking place. Therefore, Q of H2 bar Q. And the columnal electron is acting as the anode, that is Column electron mercury is converted into mercurous chloride. Okay. And that is equal to E. That E is given as 0.16. And the epsilon HC, this is given as. And what is the value of this? We, I have already given to you the reduction potential value is 0.24. But here it is a oxidation potential value, therefore minus. 2.4 volt into your calculation putting in our minus up the potum a minus not six pH up the pota they done and you know this value Q hydron electrode the Q hydron electrode I have not given to this uh, this oxidation potential value uh, it is a reduction oxidation in the oxidation water you know, sorry is a reduction here reduction should be taking place the reduction potential will be used 0.7 volt make a note of it the saturated and uh, queen hydron electrode is having a reduction potential 0.7 
from this relationship you have to calculate what is the pH of the solution. Therefore, you go and work it for this. Uh, using making use of this, we have finished the potential metric equation. Next class, we will have uh, 10, 10 to 15 minutes. We have an idea about the fuel cells, then go for electrolytic shells. Therefore, come with a, a, a small look into the electrolytic cells also. Just to read it and it will be very helpful to follow our lecture. Okay, thank you very much.